All right, <clears throat> this is going to be polishing, cleaning jewelry using the Frank Arsenal, Frankfurt Arsenal, excuse me, tumbler. Um, the tumbler itself comes in a nice lined with rubber container. It's a direct drive motor so there's no belts to break. Um, the only thing is if you're going to do jewelry and you're going to use the media that comes with it, the media being the stainless steel material usually used for uh, brass ammo casings, do not use it for bracelets or necklaces because those little pieces will get tangled up. So what you have to get is a media which has three shapes, not the cylinder kind that come with the, uh, or usually comes with the Frankfurt Arsenal. <clears throat> so if you see some for sale that say four shapes, probably not the one. You want the one that's going to have the three shapes. Now, because this is a big container, and usually the jewelry is little pieces, um, you will need to get at least five pounds of the media. Now, generally the way you do this is you're going to put the media in and then enough liquid water just to cover the media. Then you can use something called Shine Bright or you can use a little bit of Dawn or Lemmy Shine, which I'll show you. I'll show you the Shine Bright. It's a little dark over here. We'll keep it in the um, light. This is the uh, Shine Bright uh, Lemmy Shine booster, and this is Shine Bright which is concentrated so you're only going to use uh, two ounces per gallon. Now I already have some water mixed up so this has some lemon shine in it. I'm going to use it because uh, I was just kind of testing out the tumbler. But what we're going to do first is we're going to put the media into the container. Make sure to, very very important, that the seals are good. Now what you may want to do is get some uh, petroleum sealer. Um, I use the kind that's used for pool pumps uh, for the uh, airtight uh, filter and put it around the rubber gaskets because it will leak if you don't have it really tightened down and that um, petroleum it's basically like a Vaseline kind of product will help ensure that you have a good seal and it won't leak. So we're going to put five pounds of media into the container and then um, you also want to have a magnetic separator so that you don't so it's easier to clean. So I'm also going to pour this since I have a pre where it's just covering the media. It looks like that should be good. And I'm going to put a little bit of the Shine, uh, shine Bright. Not two ounces, but I'll put a little bit. Because I'm basically just experimenting. But I do have a bracelet that's pretty scratched up. So, I'm not going to put any jewelry with stones because the media of stainless steel can scratch the stones. Now, if you want to use something, I did when I was experimenting, used a media which is like a polypropylene. I'll show you. This is safe to use, very safe to use on jewelry with stones. So uh, what we'll do is 
zoom into the shine bright and the lemmy shine and then the polypropylene uh, that was a two pound bag now it looks like more because of course it takes more two pounds you saw how small that stainless bag was the seals this is the uh, clear top that you're going to make sure you put the petroleum product I use one I use one called magic lube Again, it's hard to see because the camera's in a darker area. So I'll put it down there and zoom in on it. Magic lube. Okay, so now all we have to do is put the jewelry in. One ring, two ring, bracelet. We're going to, I think I have enough of the petroleum, but I guess you'll get to see me put a little bit more. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Goes a pretty long ways here. Really don't want it too greasy. But again, this really helps to seal the container up. So, of course, this goes like that, and then you have a nice big opening, and you just want to make sure that it's tight, nice and tight. Let's put this up so I don't spill it. I'm allowing that to dry, I'm allowing that to dry because then we will also test this. I got a few of those little polypropylene things on the carpet here. I can feel them. I don't think they'd hurt the vacuum, but we're not going to do this with the metal because the metal things would ruin the vacuum. The base of the uh, tumbler is here. Again, we'll double check. Make sure it's all dry so if there is a leak, I would not leave this until you double check. Do not leave it unattended until you check you may come back and have a mess of some water so now this is going to be loud when I turn it on you just basically see me check for leaks and then we're going to set it and forget it set it and forget it just set it and forget it um, three hours may not be enough um, you may need six even eight to twelve so We'll do this several times. I may uh, check it out periodically. And um, here we go. What's nice about this one is you can look in there and see what's going on. Not that it's that exciting, but you can see. It looks like we got everything drip free. I'll let it run for a minute or two just to double check, make sure there's no leaks. And then we're gonna set it and forget it. So everybody, there you go. This is the Frankfurt Arms Arsenal tumbler, usually used for brass ammo casings that you can also use for jewelry cleaning. I'll show you the finished product, how shiny. I should have showed you before, but trust me, my bracelet I wore 24-7, shower and everything. That bracelet was pretty scratched up. So you should polish it. And instead of having to pay a jeweler to do it, secondary use for the machine is that. We will also, if you look below and contact me, I'll be happy to shine your brass ammo casings, $15 per thousand. So I don't have to scream, $15 per, excuse me, $15 per 500, um, $30 per thousand. 
You pay shipping to me, I will ship it back to you. Um, I, do, I will not uh, do any kind of jewelry because the jewelry uh, I'm not going to be responsible for. Um, and we also will shine your suppressor baffles and, uh, or monocore inside. If you want your suppressor baffles clean, sometimes the 22s get very dirty. You will ship the baffles to me, the baffles only, not the tube. The tube is what serial number is on it. That I do not want and I will not accept it if you try to ship the tube to me. So you'll have to remove the baffles, which depending on the type is not hard to do unless you've fired too many rounds in the 22 and you're going to have to tap, tap the baffles out. Um, I'm not responsible for baffles that are sent to me with strikes or damage, so they will be sent back to you in the exact condition they were sent to me, except they will be clean. The monocore inside part of your suppressor, I will be happy to clean as well. Um, those are a little easier to clean yourself, but they can be difficult. Suppressor baffle cleaning takes a lot more time and more chemicals. It's quite expensive, but we'll do that for per suppressor, per suppressor. Do not send multiple suppressor parts in one package to me because the baffles, I'm not going to be responsible for separating them. It'll be $45 per suppressor. It's a lot better than you trying to clean that yourself because you will never get it clean. Never get it clean, never get it clean. So, um, for a mono core, um, the price will be $40. Again, $45 per suppressor for cleaning the baffles. $15 per 500 of casings. And if you send casings, only one caliber per time. It will not clean if you mix calibers up. And I'm not responsible for separating them. So it's $500 or up to $500 for $15. $500 to $1,000 will be $30. And again, it has to be per caliber. So. It looks like our leaks are non-existent and it's ready to go. So set it and forget it. 73s.